It's simply not good enough. Those are the words the Premier has used once again to describe Queensland Rail. Commuters were left stranded this morning as a raft of problems paralysed the network. It was so bad, passengers are getting their money back. A costly apology after a Thursday morning that was nothing short of a train wreck. Those customers who, are, um, who have travelled on the Queensland Rail network uh, from first service this morning through to midday uh, will have uh, their... Um, uh, their fares refunded. With yet another Queensland rail train fail. Passengers from the Gold Coast to Redcliffe faced hour-long delays and cancellations. I was trying to get to the city but everything was shut down and under so I had to get an Uber all the way here. Yeah, it was really annoying. I was 45 minutes late for work on my first uh, shift at the airport. I'm advised that it is uh, nothing to do with train drivers. It is track maintenance issues. It started before sunrise with a welding problem at Yeronga. A train breakdown between Currabi and Trinder Park then compounded the headache before storm damage caused signalling failures at South Brisbane and Dutton Park. Now these are very rare events uh, for our network. The Premier is furious commuters weren't told what was happening. They should have been more forthcoming with their explanation to commuters this morning and frankly it's not good enough. An increasingly common criticism from the Premier, this was her in October. It's not good enough. It's simply not good enough. Queensland Rail and Stirling Hinchliffe are taking commuters for mugs and commuters are paying the price for a government that just can't get it right. Then there was this bizarre tweet. A laughing emoticon posted around lunchtime on the official Queensland Rail account. It's under investigation. All the issues uh, that occurred this morning have been fully remediated uh, and the network is um, performing as we'd expect. Meaning hopefully a smooth ride home.